show you how to do a fun and easy cloisonne type design using uh, pigments. Uh, I'll be showing you the flower design on the left and uh, you'll see how easy this is. If you've had issues with foiling uh, before this will make it a whole lot easier for you as far as using a gold metallic pigment and I'll be using the Moira uh, black foil gel because it has a very tacky, non-greasy, uh, sticky layer uh, which will help this gold metallic pigment um, stick but not smear across the surface. So that's what I'll be using and I can't even remember where I got this pigment to be honest. Any gold uh, metallic pigment should work for you so if you have them uh, you should be able to use them with no problems. Now the two colors I'll be using here are Attraction and Polarity and I'll be using my Zero Long Brush to paint the uh, design. Now the Attraction and Polarity came from uh, Social Claw's original Chatoyant set. Now I'll be using uh, the Gelish Top It Off to, as you can see here, I've pre-mixed uh, some colors. And on our sample here, I've got two coats of the Cuccio uh, Verona Lace, very nice white. And over that, I've used the Luxa Matte. And the reason I've done this is because I don't want the pigment, the gold pigment, to stick anywhere but the uh, design that I've painted. So we'll get our Moira and our uh, Crystal Nail Zero Long brush here and we'll just start painting our design. Now if you don't feel confident in your uh, drawing skills, your hand drawn skills, you can certainly uh, use a stamp for this. There's lots of uh, plates, where, especially the Moira plates where you can stamp the image and simply go over it with the gel. That would be perfectly fine. Um, so we're just going to get this laid down. I wasn't, I didn't want to be particularly precise in my, in my lines here. I kind of actually liked how it looked almost like it was um, molten gold once it was down you know how they have in the um, when they do the stained glass it can have areas that might be a little thicker than some other areas and just adding some um, random lines here to give it a little more interest so once this is uh, complete, you've got your design complete, I'm going to cure this gel for about 90 seconds. That's going to make sure that it, uh, first of all, cures all the way through. Second of all, that the tacky layer is completely tacky, super, super tacky. There's very little of it left, basically. And this will prevent any of that pigment from smearing into the matte areas that I don't want it to go on to. So I would suggest if you're going to use a black uh, pigment to draw your design that you choose one that doesn't have a, um, a real slippery um, tacky layer. If you know what I mean, if you've used these foil gels, you might know what I'm referring to. Now I'm not going to, um, I'm just going to pat the pigment into that sticky layer. I don't want to rub it in. Again, when you do that, you run the risk of it simply smearing and you don't want that to happen. So I'm going to pat that into the surface. Once I get everything covered, then I'm going to come in with that brush side of my little tool here and I'm going to brush away the excess. And then I'm going to uh, use my finger to kind of 
somewhat burnish that pigment into um, that black gel just a little bit. I'm not going to be over, I'm not going to be excessive about it. Again, we don't want any smearing. Now, um, now we're going to use our magnetic pigments and I'm going to fill in the petal areas of the flower and then we'll also do the leaf parts with the um, polarity color. But for right now we'll use the red. And again, these um, attraction and polarity are from Social Claw's original chatoyance. Um, you can use the Celestial, her new ones. They're uh, quite glittery. If you don't want a, a, a glittery effect, you might want to use the attraction or whatever magnetic pigment that you might have on hand. Or you don't even have to use magnetic pigments. So as you can see here, I'm using the, the bar magnet that came with the Celestial set and I'm placing it over the pigment and now I'm going to flash cure that to lock it in place for about five seconds in my LED. And then we'll just continue on filling in those areas. Again you just want to fill in without going over the gold. We're going to do our magnet, flash cure for about five seconds and continue with our filling in. Now again, you don't have to use magnetic pigments if you don't want to, and I'll show you some samples at the end of the video where I did not. I simply used some of the C and D additive pigments, or you can use whatever other pigments that you have. I did them the same way where I mixed them in with um, the gel top coat, and um, they worked just perfectly. So after you get that area done, you're going to cure it fully for the 30 seconds recommended for the top coat. And now I'm going to use the polarity color and fill in the leaf areas. Now for these areas that are a little longer, you may need to place the magnet in several different places. If you have a pen magnet or maybe even some smaller round magnets, you can uh, play around with those and see what kind of effect that you get. But you can see here placing that bar in several different um, places can help draw those pigments up, give the area a little bit more dimension. And again, flash cure to lock that in place. If you don't flash cure it and you just move on, those uh, metallic uh, particles will just settle and it, you'll lose that line definition. So once you get this side finished, same thing, we'll do our bar magnet. And then we'll flash cure that. I'm just going to fill in a lot of those random little areas that I drew earlier and use the magnet on those as well. And once you get that done, you'll cure for the full 30 seconds. And here is our design out of the lamp. It is ready to top coat now. I'm just going to use my accents, but you can use any uh, top coat that you like. I would recommend, however, since you've used uh, the uh, dry pigment over the gold area, that you simply float your top coat to avoid releasing any of those pigments and spreading it into the white areas that you don't want that pigment. And once you get a good coat on that, it's ready to go ahead and cure. And there's our finished nail out of the lamp. If you want this to uh, last, if you're going to actually wear this on your nails, I would recommend probably two coats to give it uh, a lasting finish. And here is the butterfly design that I actually used the um, Celestial uh, 
the same ones I have on my nail here I used in the smaller uh, areas on the butterfly gives it a little more depth now these are the um, designs I told you I didn't use the magnetic pigments on the original design was is by magic and I'm I think it's Fusager Fusager uh, they're an enamel jewelry maker and uh, again I just used some I have some primary color um, uh, pigments from C and D and I mixed uh, these colors with a um, pink and gold sparkle color to give that a little bit more interest so as you can see here it gives it a nice jewelry effect and the nice little frosted effect there with the colors I really did like that so as you can see the possibilities really are endless with this if you have any comments or questions go ahead and leave them down at the bottom for me I'll leave links to the products that I used as well so check that info box for that and until next time I will see you guys later